Welcome back to P2 Aero and another update on the Yamaha 998 turbo powered RANS S21 project. To be honest, I wish I was showing you some sick shots of me laying down some dimes welding up all these aluminum parts. And I guess, in a way, that is what went down. Only it was a stack of real dimes paying someone to do it for me. I'm at a point where I'm just ready to finalize this stuff and move on, but my confidence in welding aluminum just isn't there yet. So I paid a friend to knock it out and give me some pointers along the way. I couldn't be happier, and I think that it was the right choice to keep things moving. I can't remember exactly where I picked up this next idea from, but I've seen it done someplace. I needed some beads rolled in the ends of the pipes to help secure the boots on each end. Rather than invest in an expensive tool that I'd likely never use again, I bought some cheap wire crimpers, cut them up a bit in order to make the crimp tool that I could walk around the pipes and create the lip that I was after. It is a bit time consuming, but it's okay to give up some time in order to save some cash that could be better used elsewhere in the project. After getting all that mocked back up in place, I moved on to installing the individual EGT probes in the stock manifold, stepping up drill bit sizes as I went and finally tapping the NPT threads in the cast manifold. I plan to utilize as much of the stock heat shielding as possible, so that did influence my choice in putting these on the underside, plus it keeps things nice and tidy just how I want it. After that I fit up the next piece of the stock exhaust system, although I don't yet have the V-band clamps for this, so the tape will just have to hold things for now. I seriously considered not using the stock manifold and finding a custom unit that would save me some weight, but in the end, 
I think it's hard to beat the amount of engineering and development thought that Yamaha put into these parts, so I'll take the weight penalty in exchange for some peace of mind that I won't be battling cracking issues down the road. It all tucks in nice and looks like I shouldn't have any cow fitment issues. It also leaves me a ton of room between the turbo and the firewall to design up an exhaust and tuck the muffler inside the cow with no problems. I also finally got some real cable on the throttle reverser along with some set screw style barrels. I won't use these in the end product, but if everything works well once I get things running on the ground I'll finish up the real cable build. Stay tuned for more on this design here real soon. I personally feel like this is one of the cleaner solutions that I've seen out there and I have a couple more tweaks to it in the works. I'm really enjoying this part of the build to be honest. It's very fun to think through these little details and come up with the different ways to make it work. As usual, I value your input, so feel free to let me know what you're thinking in the comments section. We all learn from the dialogue that it creates. Also, I'm kicking around the idea of dedicating a video just sharing the other aviation channels that I enjoy watching. So if you'd like to be included in that, be sure and reach out to me. I'll see you on the next one.